obesity. These days many people are suffering with this, irrespective of the age and gender. From kids to oldest people. So what is causing this? How to stay away from this? If you already if you are already suffering with this, how to how to reduce this? How to cure this? What are the side effects of obesity, overweight? So, so most of you know, you know, once you are obese, that leads to many many problems. That works like a foundation for disease. So, it is better to stay away from obesity, you know, we should not get into that situation. Many problems, you know, physical problems and mental issues will come one after one, you know. And also, psychologically we don't feel good, right, when we are... Uh, and also physically it's not so good, we cannot walk properly, we cannot do, we cannot do daily activities properly. We'll feel tired all the time, weak, lazy. What is causing this? Because of the overweight, obesity. And it affects the bones, joints, nervous system, muscle. All internal organs will get a lot of you know, effect. So, directly, knowingly or unknowingly, we are harming you know, the internal organs, the system. We are damaging the system. For your height and weight, there is a specific, you know, weight. For your weight, accordingly, you should maintain the weight action. We should not go beyond it. It should not be less than that. So what happens when you put on a lot of weight? Simply, you know, if I have to say it in a simple way, example, like you have a bicycle, you know, it, it is capable of taking only up to one or two, or two people. If you want to ride the bicycle with four persons, what happens? That's it. That's how it is, overweight. The tire gets busted or the wheel gets broken, whatever it is. You are damaging the bicycle. Not just bicycle, I am saying. It, can, it is applicable to two-wheeler, motorcycle, car, anything. That has a certain you know, capacity, capability, limitation. For my height, I should know what is, what is a suitable weight for this. And I should maintain, a, maintain that. That is my responsibility. I should know. If I don't know about myself, my body, then that is not good, no? So, we cannot say, I don't know. You have to know it. We have to spend some time to know about the body. If I don't know about myself, my body, what else I know? So, okay, if if, if you are already suffering with this obesity, how to cure this, how to reduce the weight, how to get rid of the problem. Or if you are not suffering with that, but still you want to take care of your health, if you don't want to have this problem in the future or any problem in the future, what to do? See, first thing is you need to change your lifestyle. That is the most important thing, not just for obesity, for every disease. That plays an important role. So, how should I have my lifestyle? What is the natural lifestyle to follow? Okay, I will tell you from the you know, morning. For our nature, for human's nature. To say this is designed in a specific way, 
and we have to follow that rules and regulations, whatever you call it as. The way you follow in your office some rules and regulations or the kids in the school, what they follow. Something similar, you know. This body has some certain rules and regulations and we have to follow or obey it. When you break it, that's when we see the problem. So, we are supposed to wake up early in the morning by 4.30 or 4.45 in the morning. And next, see I am telling you steps, you have to remember this to follow. It's up to you, you know, if you want to be healthy, you have to follow it. If you don't like it, then it's up to you, you can take the you know, call. After waking up, just you have to drink water, plenty of water, minimum 500 ml to 1 liter. And then you have to make sure that the, mom, the bowel movement happens properly every day. You should not have constipation. Those are toxins, right? You should not keep it inside. So, you have to have morning, you have to wake up early and then you have plenty of water. Walk for a while so that the bowel movement happens properly. And then start yoga. Sur Namaskaras, Yoga Asanas, Pranayama. Once you are done with these things, you have to get into Shavasana for 10 to 15 minutes. So, all this stay takes one and a half hour. If you start by 5 o'clock, you can finish it by 6.30. 6.15 or 6.30. So, from 6.30, you have a lot of time right, to do anything you want. If you plan your day properly, you'll, you'll find a lot of time. So we cannot say, I don't have time to do yoga. If you wake up on time, we have plenty of time to do everything. <clears throat> Next. You do Shavasana for 10-15 minutes and then you can have bath. Don't have a bath with cold water or hot water. It should be lukewarm all the seasons. No hot water, no cold water. And then try to stay away from chemicals even at the time of bath or even at the time of brushing the teeth. Just see whatever you are using, don't have chemicals. If you want to be healthy, try to stay away from chemicals. Try to find a natural you know, source for it. Don't you think it's, it's available? There are so many things, but we don't, we don't try to look at it. Whatever is there, chemicals, we just use it. We don't even try to search for it or try to research to find out what are the options, natural options that can be based, that can be soap, that can be shampoo. Why to use all chemicals all the time, which is not good for health? I don't use soap. My skin is not looking bad now. Is it? I don't know. So, shampoo also there are options, organic, chemical free, you can only make it at home. There are so many things. You can have bath, a head bath with lemon, Rita, and then Shikakai. See, there are so many options. Amla. Amla can be used. For body, you can use uh, coconut oil. Before having bath, you can just apply and then have bath. Without soap, I am saying. Without chemicals, I am saying. And uh, in winter, you can use gram for that is very good for skin, it glows, no side effect, no, no chemicals, what else no? It cleanses the skin. Okay, and then, uh, and then next, after that you can have breakfast, after having bath, don't eat anything immediately, you have to give 15 minutes of break. And then you have to take breakfast. 
see next thing important thing you have to have plenty of water 4 liters of water per day okay so you can plan it and while eating you should not drink water after eating just give 15 minutes of break then you can have water while eating don't drink water before eating you can drink water maybe if you are drinking a lot of water around 2 ml if it is more just give 10-15 minutes gap after yoga you are again taking water no around 2 ml whatever you feel like drinking you can drink if you drink water like around 2 ml just give 15 minutes break before eating so while eating don't drink water after eating just give 30 minutes of break 15 to 20 minutes break and then you can have normal whenever you feel like drinking drink it so water that is the thing and food and you have to change the food also you have to stay away from white rice that is polished rice and then wheat stay away from polished food refined food that can be oil rice wheat Know, salt you have to use uh, sea salt the crystals you feel crystal salt that one is good stay away from milk stay away from sugar stay away from processed food junk food and what is more important is you have to have two meals cooked meals cooked food I am saying you should have two cooked meals first meal at 11 to 12 between 11 to 12 you can have or you can make it early also maybe 10 to 11 also is fine no problem and second meal at 5 to 6 evening between 5 to 6 you can have second meal there is no limitation I am not asking you to eat only this much you can eat whatever you want how much or quantity you want happily you can eat and what if I, if I feel hungry in between if you feel hungry in between, you can have dates, fruits, vegetable salad, coconut, tender coconut. You can eat coconut also. You can eat ground nuts, soaked ground nuts, soaked dry fruits. You see, there are so many options. We want to eat only cooked food all the time. Not required. Cooked meal just two times more than sufficient. Rest of the time, if you are hungry, you can have raw food. There are so many dry fruits, so you can soak ground nuts and eat happily. That's good for health, no, no side effects. That's not a junk food. If you find coconut, tender coconut outside, just drink it. You can eat, you can eat it off. You can find some fruit juices or some sugar cane juice, anything outside, if you are outside and have juices without sugar, sugar is not good instead of sugar you can use honey or palm jaggery least least sugar cane jaggery you can have but if it is organic only you have otherwise don't use it instead of sugar I told you know for sweet you can use honey and dates buttermilk, curd, butter, ghee are good but milk, it's not, it's not good for health. You have to stay away from it. So just remember this. If you want to stay away from diabetes or obesity or any other problem, you have to follow this. You have to, and then finally, you have to go to bed but before, you know, like uh, 9.30. By 9.30, you should sleep. Okay, you say I don't like, I want to wake up, I want to be awake in the night till you want to, it's not good. Sleep by 9.30, wake up by 4.30. So that's how it is, 4.30, 4.45, you have to wake up. So you wake up early, you know, you do whatever you want in the daytime, why do you want to do things in the night? which is not good for health, which is not the na nature. You are not designed to be awake in the night. You have to go to bed early, you know. And try to stay positive. Try to stay away from negative things. 
don't take a lot of tension to the mind, don't put a lot of load, stress, physically, mentally also. Stay from negative people first. You stay from negativity. That damages the system. The negative thoughts, negative thing, that damages your mind, nervous system, heart, every organ, you know, will get damaged. Stay away from anger, stay away from greed, find out to, find out a way to live happily, peacefully, try to enjoy the life, try to live in the moment, present, why to worry about past or future, be positive, just, just be happy with whatever you have, why to, you know, worry and cry for things what you don't have. Stop comparing with others. You live the way you want. You see what is required to the body life. That's sufficient. Don't have greed. Don't have too many desires. Too many unwanted. Beyond what is required. Greed is very bad. If you have greed, you will suffer a lot to do that and you will have a lot of targets, a lot of tensions, a lot of issues and then a lot of stress, depression, so health problems. You cannot stay happily in the present, you cannot enjoy the moment. Now, present. You are present and try to live the moment now. I will plan after 30 years, 40, 50 years but I will miss all the presents. The present is not present. You are not enjoying now. I will be thinking that I will enjoy in the future. You will be thinking only but by the time you know I will be dead or I will have a lot of diseases. I cannot enjoy anything in the future. You are missing the present. Present means what? Gift, no? It's a gift. Presence is a... It's a gift. And you, you are not knowing you know, the value of the present. You should enjoy now, not postpone it in the future, to the future. Stop worrying about what happened in the past. And stop worrying about the future. You just do the job. Whatever is coming, you just try to enjoy it. How much you want to be happy, enjoy. There is no limit. You cannot be happy with more numbers. That is an illusion. It's not possible. If you think with a lot of hap- lot of money, lot of properties, and then uh, if you 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 think that that will give you happiness, not sure. That is not true. So try to live in present. Enjoy the moment. Try to stay calm, quiet, relaxed. Be happy. If you don't, if you don't live a happy life now, then when? Then when do you think you are going to be happy? When do you think you are going to enjoy the life? So be positive. Stay away from negative, as I said. Don't try to be like others. Don't ever try to compare with others. Whatever somebody is doing, it is up to them. What is it for you? You eat what is sufficient for your stomach, that's enough. You take the oxygen, whatever is sufficient for you. If elephant is taking this much oxygen, what is it to you? Why do you have to compare it with that? How much quantity, how much quantity you want? That can be food, air, water, anything. That is sufficient for you. You will be happy with it. You should never compare it with others. You know That can be anything. That can be financially or physically or whatever the looks or the property, what he has, they have. You have to stay away from this. To stay away from this, to, a, to live a happy life, to enjoy life, to be peaceful in life, to live in a natural way. So as I said, to stay away from obesity, you should follow these things. Go to bed early, wake up early, have plenty of water in the morning, 
do yoga and then cook meals only twice stay away from rice and wheat if you want to eat rice eat to organic rice that too unpolished rice remember this unpolished rice not white polished rice not good it should be unpolished and it should be organic that too you should not have rice regularly no wheat and instead what should i have there are millets no there are so many types of millets kodu millet little millet brown top millet oxtail millet finger millet there are so many millets use those things why to eat only rice that to polish rice and wheat all the time they are not good they are not that good why not good see if millets are here the rice and wheat are at this bottom the bottom they are not good why so stay away from these things and try to eat millets regularly they are the best food for you so this is what you have to remember okay and in between if you are hungry try to have natural food try to stay from coffee tea and all especially milk sugar processed food junk food so if you follow this obviously you know within a within a month you can reduce your weight you finish your dinner by between 5 to 6 pm i told you, you know, that is also important after that don't have anything after evening don't eat anything if you are hungry also it's okay one or two days you will feel that and then you don't feel any you know, need so go to bed early that is also very important that's when the system functions properly it gets purified healed properly that's when the organs function act healthy in a healthy way if you sleep in a you know like in the early morning like after 10 1 2 o'clock you are damaging the system internal organs will get damaged they don't function properly that's why you see all the problems so whatever i said is very important this is what is the proper lifestyle if you follow it happily you can stay away from diseases you can enjoy the life 